What's going on guys? So today is going to be an interesting video because as you can see on our 2021 Coachman Brookstone fifth wheel, we have tire covers and on our 2024 Forest River Surveyor Legend, we don't. Now, I've showcased these tire covers on my channel before whenever we installed them and they work really well and they've held up really, really well, especially through this crazy, crazy heat wave that we had over the summer and you know, they're getting hit by sun every single day. Uh, I like them a lot but there's some things that can be improved and those things are going to be included on the new tire covers we put on the surveyor so hang tight i'll be right back Okay, so just like every other good YouTuber who has covered this topic, I'm going to kind of beat a dead horse with it and explain why you want to cover your trailer tires whenever your trailer is going to be sitting for a prolonged period of time. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, why don't you cover your passenger vehicle tires, like your pickup truck and your car? Well, the main reason is, is because the vehicle moves more often. And when it moves more often, you have less damage that's done to the tire from UV light constantly beating on it. So let me give you an example of, of what I'm talking about. Rubber a compound, right? It's not a naturally occurring thing like this in this form. Yes, there are plants that are considered like rubber plants, but you still have to process it into a compound to turn it into a tire like this. It's got a lot of oils in it. It's got a lot of chemicals inside of it. And if you don't constantly move and work those chemicals, they dry out and become brittle. Similar to like greases and things like that. If they're not constantly being moved, or at least if they're not moved periodically, they can become very hard and brittle. And that's what you don't want to have happen to your tire. It can cause dry rot. It can cause the tire to start cracking. And a breakdown of those chemicals can actually cause your tire to fail prematurely, especially whenever you're taking it through different temperature conditions and over roads where the, the tire's constantly getting hotter and colder and the, the air pressure in the tire's increasing and decreasing. So that's the reason why you want to cover the tires on your RV. If you have a passenger vehicle, like a pickup truck and a car, and it's also going to be sitting for a prolonged period of time, yes, you're going to want to cover the tires on that as well but that's the argument a lot of people typically have against tire covers is well if they're so important why don't we put them on a passenger vehicle as well why do we only put them on trailers and it's not the case right so even people with like class a diesel pushers class c's and b's and motorized rvs when they sit for a prolonged period of time you know a month straight where the sun's just blasting them and they're constantly being hit by dry air and cool air and and, and hot air and, and it's just taking those chemicals that make up the compound of the tire, it's either removing them or it's causing those chemicals to become very brittle and not necessarily work and pliable the way it should. Yes, your tires are going to take a beating. So it's very important to cover the tires on your RV. Is it mandatory to do it like every single time your RV's in storage, even if it's only in storage for a couple of days? No, not necessarily. But if your RV is going to be in storage for a prolonged period of time, what I mean by that is sitting there, not moving, exposed to hot sun, hot sunlight for, you know, two to three weeks or more, then yes, you're absolutely going to want to put tire covers on them. Uh, that said, another question people have is, well, how long do you typically keep tires on an RV before needing to change them out? Um, this is kind of one of those piggyback conversations, but typically four to six years is about the maximum life you want to get out of a tire. Four years if it's used a lot, six years if you're really stretching it out. Some people say you can go as long as eight years, but for the most part, I generally recommend it's time to change your tires out regardless of the condition of the tire as far as the tread depth between four and six years. That's typically the time frame that makes the most sense for most people. Anyways, let's get back to the topic here. So the tire covers that we've had on here are a slip over style tire cover. Basically, you take the back end of this, you slide it over the tire, and then you have a bungee drawstring that goes around the bottom to secure it against the tire. If you guys are hearing weird noises in the background, I've brought this up before. I have one of those little rodent eliminating things that just broadcasts all these different animal sounds and rattlesnakes and birds and cats and all this stuff. And that's what's inside of the Brookstone. I've done a review on it before and I believe it works really well because I've never had a rodent inside of our RV. So maybe it works real well. I'll put a link in the description if this is something you're interested in. Anyways tire covers. This one's pretty cool. They've worked really well. The big challenge I've had with these is I don't like having to reach way back behind the tire 
to put the bungee cord in place because I actually ran into a scorpion one time behind my tire. And last thing you want to do is be reaching back there and get a, a painful surprise whenever you find out there's some bug or something back there, possibly a small snake. And you guys probably saw the video where I came out to the RV once and there was a really small copperhead that was right behind and underneath the back axle and I had to scare it off. So those things happen and a place for them to possibly hide, especially if they hear sound, is behind your tire. So I don't like to reach behind my tires to do anything if I can avoid it, um, unless I can inspect the area really well. And putting tire covers back on, for me, generally doesn't require me to inspect the area really well. Well, now it does, I suppose. So I wanted to look for an alternative to this, even though these are really good, they've held up really well through the Texas heat wave. They've done a fantastic job. Um, if it gets super windy because I don't buckle the bottoms anymore, occasionally one will come off or it will just get really loose. Sometimes I've seen them fly across the yard, but for the most part, unless it's super windy and the wind's coming in that perfect direction, they stay on just fine, even without the bungee cords. But the tire covers we're gonna show you today are pretty dang innovative design. I think they work really well and I've used them before in the past. Actually, my father has used them before in the past and I've put them on his RV. So I guess that's like me saying I've used them before, but uh, they're super cool because they eliminate that step. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so here is the tire cover we took off of the fifth wheel and you can see this part right here flaps over and around the top of the tire. And then you have your two grommet holes right here for the bungee cord that wraps around the back of the tire to hold it in place. Once that bungee cord is in place, it's virtually impossible to get these things off. I mean, they don't come off at all unless you specifically want to take them off, which is really, really nice. Now, these are super affordable, very common. My channel sponsor, eTrailer, carries these and they provided these to me to evaluate and they work really well and they've held up really well, even though you can see they're beaten down pretty well by dust and stuff, but still there's nothing that's penetrated them. They've, they've worked really well against the sunlight. So, this upgrade is purely one of those upgrades that I guess it's for folks who don't want to have to reach around behind their tire. So what you're looking in front of you are snap ring tire savers. These things are super cool and they're super easy to install and the design is so innovative. So they come in pairs. So if you have twin axles or even three axles, you'd need to buy, you know, two of them per axle, of course. And they come in different colors. So you can get them in black or white as well as several different tire diameters. And we got them for 27 to 29 inches, which is the size of the tire on the surveyor. Now these are super cool because they have a spring that's built in to the leading edge of these. And all you have to do is essentially pull it apart, slide it over to your tire and then release and it holds them in place. That is super cool. The wind's not gonna blow them off. Uh, they protect against UV. We did the white ones this time versus black ones and not because of any specific preference towards color, but I just figured I'd change it up a little bit. And these are from the company Covercraft. Let's get these things unboxed. Okay, so we have both sets unboxed. The instructions are super, super, super simple. Basically stretch, and apply. And you just wash them with cool or warm soapy water and a soft nylon brush or cloth. Uh, you can rinse them off. I mean, that is probably the simplest installation instructions I've ever seen for any product ever for an RV. Except for maybe the things that plug up your four inch tubular bumper. Anyways, flipping one over, you can see this ring right here. And that's a metal ring and it's a spring. So once you separate it apart, you simply you know, pull it apart, slide it over the tire, release it, and you're done. Let's get these things put on so you can see what they look like. So there you go, super simple, very, very easy to install. They take just a few minutes to put all four of them on, not even a few minutes. You could probably knock them all out in less than 30 seconds if you really wanted to, but they fit really well. 
I love when you release the spring when you're behind the tire, how it kind of pulls everything flat. Now, these probably are a little too large. I could have possibly provided e-trailer with a slightly larger spec than what I thought. I feel for some reason I might have told them these were 225, 75, 15s, and they're 205, 75, 15. So the tire is a little bit smaller overall, and that's probably the reason why there's a little bit of slack. But overall, they fit really well. They're not going to come off because the spring itself is clipped around the back. So I'm happy. And I could tighten these up a little bit more simply by positioning the spring a little further back. But they look great. And like I said, I believe if I had gone with one size smaller, they probably would have fit even better. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put a link in the description of these if these are something you're interested in. They'd certainly make a great Christmas gift for, you know, the RVer and the family, or at least the one who sets everything up or puts everything back. And uh, they're not that expensive, so definitely an upgrade you might want to consider. If you don't get these, definitely get some tire covers for your RV. Anyways, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.